Hi, it's Tom from Digital Foundry, and this is Bloodborne, the old Hunter's expansion. Now we've cut together an extended analysis here, taking us up to the first main boss, which we've left right until the end. Of course, if you don't want anything spoiled, I understand completely, feel free to bail out at any point if you want to experience this Hunter's nightmare area with fresh eyes. Either way, you don't need to watch too far to see what the old Hunters brings to the table. Firstly, alongside Dark Souls 3, it shows what From Software is doing with its Bloodborne engine in the months since its release earlier this year. Technically, this remains a gorgeous looking game to behold. The physically based lighting is a real high point and we especially like the bleached sunlight streaming past cathedral spires. This initial section here has strong parallels with the grand cathedral of the main game, an open space filled with gothic relics and bathed in a strong daylight. Now we're still looking at similar building blocks to the main game, like statues and abandoned wagons, but the strong art direction still pulls it all together. Each turn across the level takes us to an environment that feels distinct, with some frankly terrifying new enemy designs lurking at each corner. Now, as for the rendering setup, as you've noticed we're in similar territory to the standard game. We're getting the expected 30 frames per second update from Bloodborne, and barring a few drops here and there to 28 FPS during boss encounters, it does average out at that target 30 FPS refresh. Unfortunately, the engine continues to show the same frame pacing issues as seen prior to the latest patch 1.07, which is needed to play this DLC. So once again, this means the game stutters as frames are delivered in an out of order sequence. You can see this in our frame time graph to the left, where correct frame pacing would normally give us a flat line at 33.3 milliseconds. In this case, we're still getting spikes up and down from that line in quick succession, all of which makes motion feel inconsistent. It's an issue we also saw in the Destiny beta and Need for Speed Rivals at launch, but in each of those cases, frame pacing was later fixed via a patch. It's easily at the top of our wish list of things to be fixed in Bloodborne. This is a truly excellent game and The Old Hunters delivers a great encore to the core experience. The only downside right now is this judder can be a distraction when you want to time that strafe or riposte to the exact frame. It's also curious that we're seeing it on PS4 here, when if you remember Dark Souls and last gen consoles were locked at 30fps without this frame pacing issue at all. Anyway, I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of this analysis. The Old Hunters expansion definitely delivers a strong challenge, and you can expect to see us die quite a few more times before getting to the end of this video, but we wouldn't have it any other way. Give us a like or subscribe below if you found this useful, and until next time, thanks for watching.